Hey there, and welcome to the wonderful world of vintage powder actuated tools. I recently did a video on the Hilti DX450, the Hilti DX451. It's really the same tool with a little bit of difference in the housing. Um, the tools use different barrel assemblies, uh, which I believe are interchangeable regardless of which tool you had. But each barrel assembly was slightly different depending on the fastener. As far as I know, there was only three of them. And I have examples of each here. I'll start over here on this side. And this is a barrel assembly that I believe is the most common in the Hilti DX450. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's made for fasteners that have a 10 millimeter washer. And this is not a Hilti fastener, but it's what I have. So it has that um, shank to compensate for that large washer. And uh, also the opening in the arm and the rod here are made for that large washer. And uh, the retaining assembly, if you want to call it that, the base plate, it has a cutout in it for the nose piece so that you use the right nose piece with this setup. This one here is used for 8 millimeter pins. Uh, nose piece again, it's made, the opening is made, and the arm is made, and it's damaged. Um, for that pin, the shank diameter of the piston is made for it, the nose piece, and the barrel that goes with it. This one here is uh, mostly for the 451, and it's for driving these large uh, threaded studs. Again, that's not a Hilti. It's what I have, though. And uh, the base plate has this extra weight on it, and again, the shank is made for that fastener to drive that extra large shank. But the interesting thing about all of these is the barrel. If you look at them, each barrel is slightly different. This one over here is a little shorter than the other two. And this one over here, the vents are shorter than what they are for the other two. So they get a little bit more gas to that fastener with that extra shank or extra large shank. So I thought that was kind of neat. It's always neat to see what Hilti does to their tools to uh, make them work with certain fasteners. And I thought you uh, might like to see it too. So anyway, that's it. Short video. Thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day.